Hello there, person! Welcome to another development log, making the game Wraithbinder. And this week I've been dealing with, man, quite an issue. I had something where the GPU would hang so bad that it would crash my computer and uh, instantly just kill my MacBook and uh, reset it. And, um, as, and as soon as it rebooted, it would reboot into some weird mode I've never seen before, where it's like it maybe log in and do other, this other stuff, but it wasn't recovery mode. And uh, then it would crash again. And then I would maybe reboot again. And finally, I would reboot two or three times and I would get into recovery mode. And um, in recovery mode, I could reboot and finally get back to my normal OS, which was just crazy, right? That it, some bug in my video game was causing my computer to crash so bad that it took me literally like 10 minutes of worth of effort to get um, to get the game back to normal. It was crazy. So, but anyways, uh, there was it was all a GPU hang, and uh, the the issue is now solved. I'm so excited that it's solved. Um, basically. It's kind of a, a leftover issue from Songbringer. So this is Wraithbinder. This is the follow-up to Songbringer, sort of like a spin-off of Songbringer multiplayer. Uh, but anyways, a lot of my code I've pulled from Songbringer and sort of refactored into this new um, layer called KitFu, which is a game uh, engine wrapper. Basically, it abstracts away a game engine, and I can just use my own wrapper layer instead of using a game engine. So I can swap out the game engine underneath if I want, and I still have this really nice, familiar interface. And also, all the headers are super uh, lean and mean, and that means it compiles super fast. So, but anyways, um, left over from Songbringer was these custom uniforms. I was setting up the sending in to my shaders all of these custom values. Um, these are like resolution. Um, information about levels and dark offset. And this is information about how much uh, blending techniques to apply. There's like a color burn going on and some saturation and some other things. Some night, some twilight values. Uh, then there's these bits which help it uh, reduce it down to 256 colors. Then there's this vector thing I had planned for later. And then these textures I'm not even using at all right now. But um, all, and then, oh, the big thing here is lights and uh, these are all just vectors of the scale of the lights and the position of the lights and those kinds of things and the number of lights. Uh, so it gets all those and passes them into the GL program and then inside of my shader it uses those values. So um, I was just perplexed as to how to solve this issue. I, I couldn't find any good GPU debugging tools on Mac. Um, every single one of the ones that is available, like there's this OpenGL driver monitor thing, which doesn't really help. There's this OpenGL, uh, this, this other stuff that didn't help at all. And uh, the error message I was getting back from the log was super, um, it just said GPU hang occurred, message tracer returned negative one, which probably just means that this is occurring inside the driver. Some At a really low level, this... Um, we're getting this error message printed out to standard error or standard out. I'm not exactly sure. And then that got dumped into my log.txt. That's really the only indication I had that uh, that what was happening was even a GPU hang at all. Um, so by by narrowing it down, um, I just tried everything. Like, okay, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. Because there's just no, really no way to debug this. Um, but finally, I stumbled across trying out disabling all of my custom uniforms from Songbringer. So... Um, it basically, uh, my, my game engine right now I'm using underneath KitFu is Coco City X 3.9. Um, and in Coco City X 3.9, I had modified the GL program so that it would send in all these custom uniforms for Songbringer in the last version. I basically just pulled this all over to KitFu and didn't really think about how this might be applied, why, why this was being applied. And, uh, and and what it could possibly be doing to things. So by by sending in all of these uniforms into, basically what this does is it sends in uniforms to every single shader, right? In the entire Coco Studio X engine. And the reason I did that for Songbringer was because I was using a special shader for every single sprite. We're talking two to 3,000 sprites per screen. It was a 2D game, right? 2D Zelda E adventure pixel art game. And um, by sending in all those shaders or sending in all those uniforms um, in right here to every single shader that's being issued, I didn't have to go and spend all that time updating the shaders like I have to here. This is a function inside um, my render system called Animate Uniforms. And Animate Uniforms basically just uh, gets the shader and updates it, sends in the current 
the latest values to the shader. So, um, so in Songbringer, I didn't have to send all those values to the shaders, right? By sending them every single time we ever did a shader. And it really simplified things and made things super fast for Songbringer. Um, less GL draw calls and some other things also got really some huge benefits there. Uh, but I'm in uh, in Wraithbinder, I'm doing something different. Instead of sending applying a shader to every single sprite, I'm first just rendering all the sprites into a frame buffer and then applying that shader to the entire frame buffer, which means that it's using, we're calling that fragment shader a lot less because a lot of sh uh, sprites don't have, uh, like overlap, you know what I mean? With the sprite overlap, you're, ca you're causing that fragment shader to run possibly for both of those sprites if they're overlapped, if, if one got drawn before the other um, and it wasn't filtered out by the depth buffer. So, but anyways, um, all that said, right? There's all this custom work going on that I didn't even need to do, right? All this didn't even need to happen. And the reason, okay, so here's how I was identifying the crash. Every time it would crash consistently, and this is the lucky part about solving this weird GPU hang, which was so voodoo, so hard to find, right? Was that um, every single time the sword was pulled out and you caused these sparks to issue from, um, from see how these little tiny uh, pixels are just sort of sparking off of these stone right here and sometimes the sparks are not just little single pixel sparks but there's lines of sparks see all those sparks those were consistently cra causing this gpu hang to occur um something really weird that was happening was that if i turned on fog of war in fact let's go turn on fog of war you can see what, it, what that looks like real quick um that would somehow cause the gpu hang to not occur right so that was a huge that was kind of a huge clue throughout all, trying all these different things like well maybe it's this maybe it's that um I, it started to make more and more sense like okay this is some random issue in fact i even went to the to, at one point of the game i was at or w solving this issue um i I was actually going and editing my shader code line by line to see which line of the shader was causing it to crash. I was like, it's got to be my shader code. It's got to be my shader code. I was in there, comment, like literally just commenting out this line, commenting out the next line, going in, oh, oh, it's this. Oh, it's definitely that. That causes the issue. And um, and uh, if I if I comment this out, it, the, the issue is gone. Um, but... But what was really weird about that was sometimes I would comment out one line and sometimes I would comment out another line and it would make the the first line not need to be commented out anymore, right? So, so I was thinking it was either the shader compilation or some weird shader compilation bug. In fact, I found this article on medium.com about all these shader bugs that have been found in compilers. Oh, it's probably a shader bug. Then I find out... Um, there's like the, these other things like in Mac OS, right? There's sometimes your Mac OS, the drivers and things like that can be can actually have a bug in it. So certain versions of Mac OS could have a bug. I was like, man, I don't know how the heck to find this bug. But it all turned out to be these uniforms. So in so all of those little uh, sparks, right, are currently called planes. And uh, that's just basically a... Um, a a two, two triangles that basically don't have a texture, right? All they are is a color, which basically means it's a pixel, or maybe it's a line, or maybe it's a rectangle, right? And that's what a plane is. And these planes rely on Cocos 2D's layer gradient. Layer gradient relies on layer color. Layer color ca calls set GL program state. Something a little bit different than the way it handles other other things in um, in Coco's 2DX. So basically what it does is it's setting its own shader, right? It's using a custom shader, which was because I had written this stuff in Songbringer to have all these custom uniforms applied to every single shader, it was passing in these uniform values to this this the layers as well. So when I went and created in the render system, we are uh, uh, actually in the anims for Sparks, um, it was creating several of these little layers, right? Sometimes it would create 10 of them at once and just spark them all out. All these 10 different layers going boom. It, they're created. They're calling new shaders. They're all this stuff's going on. And basically I, what I think was the issue was that these right here, all these values were not being applied 
to the layers, right? So we were, we're, we're saying in the shader, hey, I'm going to pass in this resolution value. I'm going to pass in these sampler 2Ds. I'm going to pass in all these VEC4s and, and lights and all that. And uh, even though the CC layer isn't using that in its shader code, for some reason, it was really just mucking it up. I think for some reason, it, it might have been trying to access these variables right inside the layer shaders somehow some for some reason and they don't have any data at that point they have ran just random bits of values i think at this at this point when they're not being when i'm not sending in those values to that shader actually in opengl so this was a huge issue that got solved by basically just disabling this so in ccgl program i cut i I basically just put in a define that's that turns off all of those custom uniforms recompiled the game i had to refactor a lot of the uh shader code to kind of make it a little more neat and stuff like that to make to really pull this off and make sure to make sure it worked correctly but long story short by adding in all of these custom uniforms and then not sending them any values that was causing my gpu to hang and my my whole computer to crash and for me to be pulling my hair out for days trying to figure this out i couldn't even record gifs like i couldn't record gifs i couldn't record videos to share with people because every time i tried it would crash my computer so long story short super glad to have this gpu hang bug fixed and maybe that helps you uh as a game developer or if you're interested in game development at all sometimes sometimes these these oh, these gpu hangs can be a crazy thing to solve if you're on windows it's better for you because there's better tools. NVIDIA has some some tools. The OpenGL driver debuggers, I think, are better. But on Mac, man, it's I don't know how to do it. So I think maybe next time I have something like this happen, I'll probably switch to my Windows build and start learning how to debug OpenGL from that perspective. Maybe that'll help. Um, but I think I have a good grasp on how this is this should be in the future. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you learned something. And catch you next time.